Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. Today we'll be working with frame relay point to multi point sub interfaces. Typical case where you'd be using point to multi point sub interfaces when trying to run a routing protocol on top of a non broadcast multi access network. So let's have a look at the requirements. And in this hub and spoke network, we would have to make sure that subnet 10.1.1.0 slash 24 is shared by the three routers. We we'll also have to make sure that route 2 and route 3 can reach each other. So let's get started. Start on router 1. Checking the configuration. All right, we have an IP address on serial 00. Let's start by removing it. Interface serial zero slash zero no IP address next enable frame relay encapsulation encapsulation frame relay then leave the interface mode and create the sub interface interface serial zero slash zero dot one That would be a multipoint sub interface. Now we re to the IP address that we removed. IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 24. Now, since we have two DLCs configured on that interface, we will have to configure layer 3 to layer 2 mapping. Let's start with router 2. So, to map router 2's IP address to the local DLC, we will use the command frame relay map. The protocol to be mapped, so that's IP. Next is the IP to be mapped, so that's 10.1.1.2. Next, the local DLC to be mapped, that's 102. Next, we can enable sort of broadcast in case we'll be running routing protocol on top of that. Now let's map router 3's IP address to the local DLC. So frame relay map IP router 3's IP address. So that's 10.1.1.3. The local DLC, so that's 103. 103 and here too we'll enable so the broadcast all right let's jump on router 2 show run okay let's remove the IP address on 000 interface 000 no IP address. Now let's create a multi point sub interface. Interface 0, 0, 0, dot 1, multi point. Well, great. I forgot to enable frame relay on the main interface. Encapsulation frame relay. Okay, let's try again. Interface zero zero slash zero dot one multi point. Now adding the IP address ten dot one dot one dot two two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Now let's map router one's IP address to the local DLC. Frame relay, frame relay map IP router one's IP address 10.1.1.1 local DLC 201 and enable pseudo broadcast. Now we have to map router 3's IP address. Since we only have one local DLC, we'll be mapping it to the same DLC, basically saying 
send all traffic for router 3 to router 1 and let router 1 take care of it. So let's do that. Frame relay map IP router 3's IP address 10.1.1.3 and the unique del c 201 this time we don't have to enable solar broadcast since this is done on a del c basis right let's jump to route 3 checking the current configuration all right let's remove that ip interface 0 0 slash 0 no IP address, enable frame relay, encapsulation frame relay, get out, create the multi, create the multi point sub interface, interface zero, zero slash zero, so one multi point, add the IP address, ten dot one dot one dot Three two five five two five five two five five dot zero. All right. Now we have to do the layer three to layer two mapping. Let's start with router one. So frame relay map IP router one's IP ten dot one dot one dot one. The local DLC three o one and the keyword broadcast. Now we'll map route to the IP address to the local DLC. So frame really map IP router to the IP address so that's 10.1.1.2 the local DLC oh dot two the local DLC and no, and no broadcast keyword. Alright, let's check the mapping. Alright, that looks good. The two routers IP addresses are mapped to the local DLC. Let's try to ping router 1. Ping 10.1.1.1. That's working. Now let's try to ping router 2. Ping 10.1.1.2. Oh, .2. And that's working. Thank you for watching.